You wanna see my homecoming nails? Do you wanna see them? Look at them! Aren't they cute? This is my dress. Let me show you. Do you see why the silver and the black? You see why I did what I did? Guess what? I did it myself. I did it myself. So we got that checked off our list. We gotta make this presentable. We got a lot of work to do. And we also have to finish some chores. My desk, let me just show you. Looks like this. Basket full of laundry, already folded though. So we don't really have to worry about that too much. Um, but yeah, so we need to clean up and then to clean up. I already had everything like where I needed and wanted it to be. And then I was like, my nails weren't good enough. So then I fixed them. And now I have to put everything back somehow. I don't know. Okay. Um, that, and then put that in there. We did it. One of the reasons we have to make our room presentable is because Labe's coming over. And I just don't like having my room a mess before people come over. It's not a thing with me. So, we got finished cleaning. I am going to vacuum and then put away my clothes and then we're going to start getting ready. That is our line of events. So, I'm going to go get the vacuum. I got everything that I wanted to get that done. It's not super exciting. I'm pretty sure it's like 2.30 now. Um, I think I'm gonna go shower, you know, do what I gotta do. And I will see you in a little bit. I do need to brush up this hair. Obviously I need to do a few things before, but we're gonna do that, come back. I'll probably wait a little bit and then I'll start my makeup, especially to see what time Labe is coming. Yeah, we're gonna be straightening it. Oh my god, you wanna see what earrings I'm wearing? Whoop, can you see that? They're real. Okay, now, okay, I'm gonna brush my hair, shower, and I will see you when it's time for me to get, like, ready, ready. Hola, I am out of the, sh the shower. Labe is on his way. It is 3.30. Um, you're probably like, no, you took an hour long shower. No. 30 of those minutes? No. I've been out of the shower for like 10 minutes. So that's 320. So I took about a 30 minute shower because another 30 minutes of that was me and my brother trying to fix the door because it wouldn't close and I'm not showering in a room where the door doesn't close we're not doing that i texted late for a little bit trying to figure out like when he was coming and stuff so now he's leaving now and he's gonna work here while i get ready because traffic's really bad so it's gonna take him like 45 minutes to an hour to get here and i just was like just do it now and work here while i get ready so we're gonna have some company in a little bit. Let me show you the eye look we're attempting. This is it right here. I found it on Pinterest. I was like, I think that could look good on me. So I have a few palettes right there. So we're gonna try to accomplish this look. My hair is just gonna be straight because I cannot do hair, barely can do makeup, which is why I don't do it. Like foundation, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna conceal this little bastard who I'm have antibiotic on hoping to calm down. I'm about to do my eyebrows. After I do my eyebrows, I'm gonna 
lay in my bed until Lave gets here. And then um, we're gonna really start getting ready, like eyeshadow, hair and all. And then we will be ready to go. Um, I was in the middle of concealing and I was singing and that reminded me that I'm supposed to be filming. You're probably like, Willow, why are you on the floor? Because Lave's working, so I gave him the chair. Plus, I always do my makeup on the floor, so this is what we're working with. Um, so far, I think it's going pretty well. I just poked my eye out. I just did liner. What do we think? Okay. It's time. To, I haven't done anything with my hair yet. It's definitely going to need to be straightened. But it's almost fully dry. I haven't used the blow dryer, so hopefully we don't have to use that. I'm going to attempt... We're gonna attempt it, y'all. I'll let you know how it goes. Liv's about to come back. He was doing a, a hashtag bathroom break. I don't feel like I'm sparkly enough. Like, the whole idea was for me to be sparkly. I don't feel sparkly. Look, I have a fluffy brush. I feel accomplished. Lash routine. Lash paradise. Then, carbon black. Oh my god, it was not close all the way. Damn it. Okay. Then, waterproof. And that is our routine. I'm gonna throw this away, it's gross. But I concealed. Lave's back. Maybe. Lave's back. I forgot I was supposed to be filming because I'm doing like a get ready for me for, for Hoko. You know? Mm -hmm. I'm being like stereotypical. What do we think so far? I look. What do we think? Do I look creepy? No, he don't. thinks I look creepy. Um. He's here. Look at him. Look how cute. Look how good he looks. Mm. Amor, I made pumpkin muffins. Did you see? You didn't see. Oh my god. I made the best pumpkin muffins in the whole world and you need to try a piece of one. They have semi-sweet chocolate chips in them. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I'm gonna pretend you didn't just say that. We're ready! He's not wearing the glasses though because those are mine. You're not- you can't wear them. I know. Okay. Um, makeup done, hair done, earrings and dress on. It's a little written up because someone was messing with it. Okay, we gotta go now. Look at him. Okay. Um, is everything unplugged? Yes. Yes. Okay. We gotta go feed Mozzie McBalzy. And then we're leaving for where we're taking pictures. I know you can't see me, which is five minutes away from my place. So... Oh, hello! Hello! Oh. Helping and praying pictures go well. I straightened my hair. It's a little frizzy. So I'm a little nervous about that. Should I bring my lip gloss? Good choice. I will. Okay, I'm bringing all the possible things I can need. Sparkly lip gloss, clear lip gloss, Vaseline, Burt's Bees. And then I have a pack of gum. And, um, is there anything else I need? Or are we ready? Hoko ready! You're all over the place. I know, because I keep forgetting like I have a dog to take care of. I agreed to take care of Molly for a week because I want to get a dog and I have to know how to take care of a dog. So that's our situation ship right now. Let's go! Lives freaking out because there's sleeves on his car. This is Abella, everyone, and all her beauty and all her grace. Still trying to figure out the car that one of my friends has. I can't remember what it is, and it's driving me crazy. It's like those boxy cars that you can drive on dirt roads. I know that's not very... It reminds me of like a Land Rover, but it's not a Land Rover. Oh, is it? No. A buggy? No, it's big. I'll report when I get there. Okay, the car in front of us is the car that he has. And it, I saw it and I was like, oh my god, that's the car he has. It's a forerunner. Okay, I just had to clear that up. Okay, bye. Aww. Everyone bet $20 I'd be late. And lo and behold, I was late. So Sophia's getting $20. I don't know if you do one here. Let's chat. Lab's on his way home. Um, I wanted to film more. And I would have if it was a good time and if the plans went accordingly. Um, we show up. 
a little bit late. Lay has a Meister car. It was like a little bit of an entrance, not gonna lie. Um, people were not nice. And I don't know if it was jealousy or they were just caught up in their own thing. But people were not nice. And these are my friends. And a couple of my friends have met Lay. And we were left out the entire time like we were being screened at like for photos and I got photos with people and like but I just see the person that I love on the side and like he start like he tried starting a few conversations but every time they got shut down and those aren't the people that I'm friends with and those weren't the people that I was going to stay around with the night because when there's someone new or I, I can see I you, anyone can see with fucking eyes when someone's left out you can tell you can tell like they're on their phone on the side or something like you can tell when that person doesn't feel comfortable Lab goes to a different school than these people and i thought it'd be okay because there was a few other people from the school but the people from my school were including those people but they weren't including my person and i wasn't having that at all and i had made different reservations in case of drama like i thought drama was going to be the problem drama was not the problem the problem were the people and I, no, absolutely fucking not. But I did think about it. I was like, what if, like, what if dinner's better? Like, I know, like, this is bad. But the thing is, photos was an hour and a half, practically. And I was like, if it hasn't gotten better by now, we're just going to be sitting on the end of the table, conversating with ourselves, with other people there. That, I, we might as well just go to dinner by ourselves. So I talked to one of my friends there. And she was like, if it were me, from what you told me, if it were me, I'd go to the other reservation. I was like, okay, great. So I'm not fucking crazy. She was like, you made a reservation for extra people. Like, it's fine. Go have a great night. Do what you need to do. And I love that person. I'm not going to say her name because I don't know if she's comfortable with me saying her name. But you know who you are and I know you watch my videos, so thank you. And it was the right decision. We went to dinner. We had a great time. Fun fact. Fun fact. The place. T. The place that I went to eat with him. One of the waiters there was the man who crashed into my car. Hit and run. Remember him? We like to call him hit and run. Because he got off his car. Asked if I was okay. Looked at his car. My car's not damaged. Got back in and left. When it was his fault. His fault he hit me. If I had gone even a little bit faster or left a second later, he would have killed me. We're not going to get into that, though. But yeah, so we didn't end up going to dinner. There was really nothing to film. Um, so that's fantastic. This did not go how I planned it to go. But you know what? I had fun. I had fun going out to dinner with my boyfriend. I had fun taking pictures with him. I had fun snuggling and watching our show. Like, I had fun doing those things. And I had no problem doing that. If it were different, I would have loved to go to dinner with all of the people if they weren't being fucking assholes. And the thing is, they didn't even know they were being assholes. They probably didn't even know it. But I'm the person that includes that person because I've been the person on the side before. And I wouldn't wish that feeling on anyone. So I don't I don't endure that shit. I, I don't. And I don't put the people that I care about through that. And I don't know. Absolutely not. So we did our other plans. We had a good time. Almost got into a fight at the place we were eating because I was this close to punching the man across his face, but it's fine. Yeah, so this is my lame homecoming vlog. I filmed a clip of me doing my makeup, then my makeup done, then me saying that people expected me to be late because I'm always late. I like to be fashionably late. It's a thing with me. When I really need to be on time, I'll be on time. Like, but when there's an opportunity, I like to take it but like when I do modeling I was always 30 minutes early you don't be late for that kind of shit but this plus I had I had shit to do that they don't have to do I had shit to do that I had to get done and I was waiting on another person to get it done and they didn't get it done so I couldn't leave until the time I was supposed to be there thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed I know there wasn't much but I from what was filmed I really hope you enjoyed Was Her Mascara. Mm, I really hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed, you should definitely like, subscribe, comment anything down below you want, and I will see you in the next one. Mwah!